Studios with you today for another awesome GIMP tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about how to make fire in GIMP. So, let's go ahead. I've just opened a white image and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to get started here. So go ahead and select your fill tool and make sure black is in your foreground. Just paint that in just like that. Now, what we're going to do is switch the colors to white grab your paintbrush, make sure it's a circle and just click down here in the corner. Now go ahead and hold shift and control go straight across just like that. Now I'm just going to undo that because I'm going to make it smaller. Oops, not that small. Alright, there, perfect. Just like that. I'm going to make another one right here. perfect alright now what we're gonna do is grab our smudge tool and there's kind of two ways of doing this you could either go to filters and go to eye warp or else you could do it this way this way I think is the only way I've done it for quite a while so all you're gonna do is make sure the rate is let's just mess that around with that there we can do it a little bit more there okay and just swirl around with it then come up from there. You're just going to go all the way around just like this. <coughs> all right. Now, I'm just going to do one bar so you can get the effect of it. Okay. Now I'm doing this very badly because I am on a time schedule, but I'm just going to do it till right over here okay I've gone all the way down here now when you stroke up what you want to do is kind of curve it around just like this okay so kinda I didn't do that until now okay so just go ahead and swerve it around if you ever look at a real fire you can kinda mimic what it looks like so just alright there we go so as you can see I've just gone around and kind of painted it up and with the smudge tool so now we're, what we're gonna do is go to colors color balance and I'm gonna go down to my preset give you the numbers for it I'm gonna call that fire so let's start with shadows alright now the top one is a hundred now the middle one is fourteen the bottom one is negative 100. Okay. Now midtones is the top one's negative 100, middle one's 30, and the bottom one's negative 100. Now highlights is 100, 11, and 85. Now I've messed around with this a bit, and sometimes it kind of differs with what color it is because of all the amounts of different kind of smudging. So if you get more of a dark color, it'll as you can see the shadows messed that up okay so you can just mess around with that oh I see and alright go ahead hit OK and there you go you have some awesome looking fire now I've made f very awesome things with this you know and it actually looks very realistic against a photo so that is our tutorial on how to make fire now you can also make text with that and you can just draw the white lines and mess around with that until you can I mean it looks very amazing so thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make fire and gimp hope you enjoyed it and look out for more great tutorials thanks a lot bye